Sharoya, you're 17 years old. Why are you here? Well, because I believe that my boyfriend is cheating on me with other females, and he disses me for his ex all the time. Like, um, he found he was upset because he found out that I went through his phone and that I seen that he was still talking to his ex-girlfriend. He was just basically putting me down, saying, I'm a dirty um, get out, go catch a bus with your dirty self and stuff like that. You just had a baby with him? Yes. And how old's your baby? My baby is one week. One week old? Yeah. And this incident where he was calling you a dirty Yes. How long ago was that? I was eight months. You were eight months pregnant? Yes. You, you just had a, a baby one year ago. Now, and that has to be tough if you had your baby when you were 16 years old, right? Yeah. But he was over there and then, um, I was calling her to ask her as a woman to woman, but then she came on a portion with it like, oh, this, don't worry about it, he over here. And then like Malcolm, he over there telling um, her so much stuff about me and my mom and don't, and it don't make no sense. So when I try to call and confront him, and he does she say, I'm sleeping with your man? Yeah, yeah, she'll say that and then she'll say all, a lot of stuff. You know he's cheating on you. <laughs> why, why would you stay with him? Is it because you, you just had a baby with them? I don't, we've been through so much together. What did you go through, gym class together? I mean, no. <laughs> you should be dating and going to school and, and being a child, not raising two children. He haven't bought my baby nothing but some baby Jordan sneakers. What the hell does a baby need sneakers I, for? I said the same thing. Did I you said buy any diapers thing. or formula? No, no, no. What if he fails the lie detector test? What's gonna happen? Then I'm not, I'm not gonna be with him no more. I'm not gonna be with him no more. I'm not about to keep going through the stuff. And he tells you he hasn't cheated on you. Yeah. You still cheating? You cheating on me, Malcolm? Huh? No, not recently. You not, not you not cheating on me? No. It don't, you don't get nothing for your son. You don't get nothing for him. That's good. Call her the phone. That's not your son. That's why she said this. Da, 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 da. Why do you want to be with me so bad? Do you keep because going back I, to your ex? Because it's a, for, first confused? of all, we are gonna put it like you this. Confused? I'm not confused at all. It's, okay. it's the situation of this. You go out and do things you think it's all right. You laugh and giggle about it. Just like you had sex with my son and you at eight to nine months. You thought it was all right. I guess I didn't hear right. You had sex with somebody else when you were eight or nine months pregnant? Yes. Come on, Sharoya, what are you doing? You come out here and you're, you're, you're being like the victim here. What the hell are you sleeping with somebody when you're eight or nine months pregnant? You're sleeping with somebody else. Again, I'm going back to whoever, no, I'm fine. Who, because uh, I'm on the edge right now. I'm on the edge. Because I'm wondering who the hell's raising you, that you think this is okay. Did you go to any parties when you were eight months, nine months pregnant? Damn, how can I, they was thrown at my house. They was thrown at my house. So yeah, I was there. Were you drinking? Yeah. It does, man, it does, it's like, did you smoke? Yeah. What'd you smoke? Marijuana. What the hell do you think you're doing to your baby when you're drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana? What do you think you're doing to that baby? Hurting him. A baby doesn't need gym shoes. A baby needs diapers, formula, blankets, a crib. Are you working? I'm doing something. I, I am trying to get it how I get it. That means to me, like, maybe you're going to do something bad. And you know what? That doesn't help anybody else no, I'm out. Not, I'm not going to do nothing bad because okay. I know I have well, a I want to know. I know I, a like you asked me how I take care of my kids, I do the show. And I get a paycheck. Well, I'm looking. I'm, I'm filling out applications, going around, filling out jobs. But your baby can't wait, like, for an application. He can't. You right, So I want to know is, are you willing to take this off and sell it? Yeah. So your baby can eat? Yeah, yeah. So why is it still around your neck? Who's, who's supporting it? I don't know. Who's supporting it? See, this is, this is, this is, this is just a that horrible, a horrible thing. You, you brought a child in the world and you don't even know who the hell's feeding your baby. I've never met two more indifferent, young, childish adults in my life than the two that are standing on my stage right now. <laughs> you love this girl? Yes yeah. or no? Yeah, I do. You want to be with her? Yeah, I do. You do? And this Ebony you were talking about? You don't want to be with her? 
Right now, I don't. No, I don't. Right now, I don't. Do I love Ebony? Yeah, I do. But do I see myself with her as a companion for years to come? No, I don't. Well, you're going to see yourself with her right now because she's here. Let's bring her out. I'm your ex-girlfriend. That's what I am. I'm your ex-girlfriend. But you've been with me since July. I'm your ex-girlfriend. With this little girl, you've been holding me up. I'm 21. You love her? You want to be with her? That's what you want? That's what you want? Why you looking stupid in the face? Why? Gee, I wonder why. Malcolm confessed to cheating on you, cheating on you with Ebony, cheating on you with other girls besides Ebony. It can't be that big of a shock. Mm -hmm. Res results for Malcolm. He was asked, during your pregnancy, did you lie to Sharoya about cheating on her? And you answered no, and you lied, right? Mm -hmm. Sharoya confessed too, and this is, this is what I care about. Having sex with a new guy she met, she was eight months pregnant at the time. And you smile about it, like it's funny. Sharoya also confessed to drinking vodka at a party in September while she's nine months pregnant. She also confessed to smoking pot three times while pregnant. Are you currently cheating on Malcolm? No. Besides the one man in August, <laughs> besides the one man in August, did you cheat on Malcolm while you were pregnant with your son? You answered no, and you told the truth. Who cares? Your parents are here. I, want, I really, really want to meet them. Let's bring them out. Really, Malcolm? Really? You don't know who take care of your son? I take care of him. You haven't did nothing for him. Nothing. I take care of him. You bought him a pair of sneakers. It's, it's driving me crazy. Tell him how much this chain it's cost driving me crazy. It it's don't driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. Stop doing your job. Your daughter's over there. I tried. You tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Your daughter's sleeping with the guy when she's nine months pregnant. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't now know you that. know. I didn't know that. You know she's drinking vodka that. while she's nine months pregnant. I did not know that. She's smoking pot. Well, when you sit there back there on your ass backstage, do you really need an introduction? Do you really need to focus on him? I'd be focused on the woman that could have seriously damaged your grandson. I'm taking care of you and your two kids. And why would you do that anyway? You and your two kids. Do what, drink? Yeah, and, and have sex with another guy. Come on. Why you eight months? Well, I was drinking because I was at the party. I was drinking because I was at the party, so. What yeah, party? but you shouldn't have been at no party, though. You have a son, and I hope you grow up real fast, and I hope that you'll Thanks. take care of your son, try to go out and get a job, a good legal job, and provide for your son. Goodbye. You grow up, start dating men that are men. Don't be dating little boys. Don't be dating men that are having children with other people. Okay. Goodbye. You got an opportunity right now, you really do. You got parents that care about you and give a damn, and they're here. And they're saying they're there to support you, and your mother's helping you with your children. So you have something that most young women your age don't have. You got two parents, and they give a damn about you. Let's play the door game, okay? I love the door game. That door is Malcolm, and you can be with him, and, 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 and go keep dating him, and hope things work out. Or you can walk out that door with your parents and we'll give you parenting classes and help you get back in school. But I'll tell you this, the moment that Roy picks up the phone and tells me that you're dating Malcolm or you're hanging out or you're going to a party, then, then that's where my effort stops. Then I'll stop the classes. I'll stop the counseling. I'll stop everything. Because I want to see the commitment that I'm making to you. I want you to make that same commitment to your children. It's pick a door time. You go out that way and you keep going, be with Malcolm, whatever, or you go out that door with your parents and you get the help, parenting classes, and try to be a good mother to your kids. So you just, you'll close the show by whatever decision you make, by whichever door you go out. <laughs>